Oh, welcome back my gardening friends and I have a confession to make I'm an addict I just can't help myself do you want some more guttering yes please um, so I've got all those fixtures and fittings we've got another four four meter length so that will be ideal for in the polytunnel for the overwinter for the wick guttering on the staging loads of ends uh, and realistically there's some good uh, good bit of stuff here i've got the corners if i need them and there's a few new bits as well because he's replaced the white uh, with black and there's a new length there of uh, four meter black guttering that he didn't use so it would only gone to waste so i will forgive myself and hopefully you'll forgive me so i've got a bag full of fixtures and fittings there two more bags here odd bits there <laughs> uh, two more bags here different sorts but you never know when somebody wants some and these are excuse me guys like i say it's busy my busiest time of the year and uh well yeah i'm doing my best but these are on the fascias they make cracking plant labels guys so there's uh, quite a few there they're old ones i emptied a bag out and i found those so i'll be making use of those for plant labels with my yellow uh, tape and uh, i've just sorted some more out there the useful ones that i can bag up i've got to sort all these out i can't keep keeping them and uh, i'll share them with my fellow plot holders the comfrey is very very slow this year uh, it came both crowns came very quickly i cut both down at the same time but it's very very slow this time um don't know why but uh, we, we can only blame the weather uh, here's some of the potatoes that uh, we uh, popped on so uh, another sowing of potatoes i'll be doing another lot of sowing in a couple of weeks nothing on the ones from the ones that didn't do very well in the five-year-old banana skins at the moment everything's looking rosy in the gravity fed rainwater guttering system so all the wicks are in there and this is saving me no end of time uh, watering and just to help the uh, pollination and uh, what have you give them a little shake and that was for mandamu and gardening stuff but uh, if you want to see some real good information please pop over to see cb's uh gardening greenhouse or something but he comments regularly have a look for his comment and just pop on his little circle and pop over to his channel he what he doesn't know about tomatoes and uh, pollination and the way he grows them uh, nobody does uh, really impressed and i follow uh, every one of his videos but this is all looking uh, really good the cucumbers haven't come so well in the greenhouse because maybe it's a little bit cooler but we don't want them all coming at once that looks quite pretty now these are the potato grow bags and uh, there's the uh, jerusalem artichoke so that will give these bags uh, a real good uh, tester these are the strawberries that we grew from the sliced up skins of a strawberry a shop bought large strawberry so need to get the runners done cut off on these we need them to uh, cut all the runners off anything else so that the crowns uh, get the extra strength we don't want the effort being put into the runners the rain's giving this uh, a bit of a bashing uh, no pollinators while it's uh, a little bit showery but uh, they are enjoying uh, all these uh, wildflowers I'm not sure what's come up what i planted or what i sowed but obviously the strongest always wins rocking 14 comfrey and leaves on these again we're not going to be touching that this year because we want the leaves to draw the energy down into the crown the roots and let them roots get really deep to pick all those uh, nutrients that i'll keep spreading on my allotment and they'll draw them up and then we can use the comfrey as a, a feed
picked up three bags of horse manure. Uh, this is the oh, never prepared. This is the uh, rocket first earlies. Now where's the label? Can't find it at the moment. But uh, yeah, I'm going to open the door and see if we can see any potatoes on these because uh, we should have a few potatoes now ready to harvest. We'll open the door, grab a few, have them for Sunday dinner and shut the door again and let them grow on. Hee hee hee, I'm a lucky boy. Uh, another three panels. Uh, they're only double, but I was thinking they hopefully will be suitable for the two windows at each end. Uh, so uh, yes, well worth waiting. I've got myself some good thick polycarbonate panels I found in a skip today. Always worth waiting, as we've always said before. So we're in the giant cabbage uh, cage. Uh, here's the uh, stir-on uh, onions and the rumba. Some are looking better than others. That one doesn't look very good, does it? I won't disturb it because I might need to dig all the soil from those. And there's uh, some of my uh, giant uh, cabbages. I'll be doing an update very soon. Hopefully they won't go to seed, but uh, if you can just imagine my hand there and then look back at them. Uh, they're doing uh, really well. I did weed this, but it's surprising how quickly they grow again. And very little time being able to do anything at the moment while I'm busy at work. As you took from that phone call. So from plot one to plot three, We'll just nip into the uh, fruit cage. The door is now shut and it won't be a bit long before it's locked because the uh, two-legged bird varieties uh, like them but also the two-legged uh, human varieties also like them so we get this locked up. And <laughs> you can see why I wanted to use those green straps to support everything. But uh, we've, uh, we haven't got time to do everything. There's the, uh, the black currants, and uh, they are a damn good size. Ooh, ooh, the, ooh, it's just dropped off in me hand, look guys. <laughs> Excuse me. Mm. Ooh, a bit sharp, a bit sharp, but first black currant of uh, 2021. Gosh, I've just come to the white currants and look. <laughs> What a surprise. Yum yum, excuse me. Ah, mm, no, not quite ready. Uh, these are the gooseberries and uh, they're, they're quite hard at the moment. We'll wait till they get a little bit squishy. And this is just one summer fruit in raspberry bush. That's just one side. And the uh, fruits are just starting to form. Hopefully they'll get bigger than that, but no matter what size they are, they always taste nice. Absolutely loaded. Normally they hang underneath the branches. This is the thorn lust type, and it's just caught me uh, in a uncompromising place. I didn't cry like a baby, but uh, we will get uh, a few sharp scratches off them. I nearly said something else then. If you do see this on your current bushes, uh, it's, it, it, all it is is um, some aphids underneath and they, uh, they go right in there and there's not a lot you can really do. Uh, you won't get them all. It doesn't really affect the plant as such I've found, but it is annoying when uh, they go all these different colours but I haven't suffered as yet from anything uh, the green fly and black fly well mainly green fly in the tops there that's well worth it if you start to see them all crumpling up and twisting and turning then uh, you need to treat them with whatever you normally do that's uh, organically friendly to our ladybirds and there you have one there right at the bottom it's all curled up look and uh, no doubt there's some nasties in there. There we go. 
Now, now, take all the sap out of my new uh, leaves. Uh, I've learned a valuable lesson from the uh, square foot garden this time. Uh, we popped a few carrots in there, but this was going absolutely mad. So I'll keep on top of it. I'll cut it back. I'll try and take small leaves because that will not fit in my lunchbox. Um, lettuce, it keeps coming and coming. This is the first sowing. Um, the uh, spinach. Let's have a look. Southern giant curled mustard. Gone to seed, so we'll add that out. Uh, but the main thing is radishes. I'm going to put a few lettuces at the back and then the radishes at the front so they've got plenty of room because they do get covered up. And then it gives the lettuce room to uh, branch out. But the square foot garden is uh, completely disappeared. Some uh, lovely uh, lettuce there. There's the... Uh, tomato trailing cherries I think they might be saved the uh, New Zealand spinach doesn't look very happy uh, potato chip challenge from um, London worms still alive got more lettuce than I need but it makes great compost not much going on with the peanuts pink fur apple they started to flower Overwintering potato challenge, they're all growing really well in the temporary bed made from pallets. Naughty me, I still haven't harvested my beetroot. Oh my god, I won't be able to find a jar big enough to, uh, to uh, hold them soon. But unfortunate, while I'm still at work, we're going to struggle. Uh, lovely crops of... Uh, broad beans uh, the peas now are starting to uh, form this variety is the uh, sugar prince pea shed wars heritage variety so we'll be saving a few of those the pointed cabbages are now pointed definitely so too many you know what happens when you eat too many greens guys <laughs> look at me sprouts oh dear um, these are supposed to be cauliflowers. The third sowing of beetroots are now uh, probably a small pickling size. These are my Swedes. Joyce's from the Netherlands cabbage. That still hasn't gone to seed. We've uh, ate the top out of that one that did go to seed. We took a few beetroot from here. And uh, they're a nice size. And then you get some that are uh, probably too big. But we're trying to keep an eye on the uh, beet leaf miner and I'm religiously taking those off. The uh, golden gourmet shallots, I'll need to get those up soon. We've seen the reveal of all the garlic and I removed the, uh, sh um, the other shallots quite urgently because again, they were going rotten. These are the Kent blue pea from Bill and Val. I use the old label so it's not looking very bright. Again, uh, those uh, flowers on the Kent Blue are absolutely beautiful and hopefully the peas are too. I late sowed my long beans but they're uh, going mad now so they soon catch up and no doubt these will pollinate a lot quicker than everybody else's who's put them in uh, a wee bit too early. Everything's overgrowing, some nice flowers there. Yeah, I bet that's a weed. I'll have to sort that out. Um, yeah, they're all coming on nicely. And I did have my first uh, first pea, pea shoot the other day. These are all ones that uh, I'm going to harvest flat. I'm not harvesting for the peas, but I will let some go to seed. Uh, the Graffiti F1. Uh, I'm hoping <laughs> I can get a good one. I've tried all ways of growing cauliflowers, but it just doesn't happen on my allotment. And all these beds are new, so we just need them to settle down. I shall have to test the soil for the pH. Uh, a little bit of caterp caterpillar damage on some of the... Uh, da -da -da -da. Uh, this one's nice, clean and healthy, but that one needed a bit of a trim. Take, the cat take them off while the caterpillars were still on. A few holes in that one, so I'll be keeping an eye on that. And the lettuce are in there, and hopefully, once my uh, sprouting broccoli has 
germinated we can get the plants in there and those lettuce will be gone whoops a daisy i think we've uh, left that a little bit too long uh, before we string it up but, uh, surprising so looks like the cauliflower purple of sicily has uh, blown so we'll have that uh, very soon probably for sunday dinner and of course we have to keep an eye on all these uh, suckers always start at the bottom when you remove your suckers because you could accidentally take the top one out and then you need to leave that one to uh, carry on growing there's another good tip from cb i've re-sown all the carrots that didn't germinate and we've been as you can see we're getting uh, a little bit of rain uh, so I, I could stop watering uh, the watering system we've had a little update but if you only follow me once a month uh, all this is now all connected and uh, working really well these are the parsnips from uh, this year and uh, I got my parsnip out uh, during uh, June and these were sown uh, on the 20th of uh, September I covered this with my pallet collar coal frame and they 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 were drawn so i'll show you the ones that i did uh, with just laying cardboard down they're a lot better these are the pongos and we've got some cobra there and again we sowed these at the same time as the others and for some reason we've had less germination but i did only sow two seeds per station so we'll up it to three again so this bed has got the it's a brune going to seed this had the red russian garlic and now it's got uh, five rows of uh, different types of uh, radish so no sooner the garlic was out uh, we did that we've got uh, some peas here these are the sugar nap sugar snap peas from kelly and we've got uh, a nice row there of uh, more carrots mainly because we've got the motley dwarf for us again on the early crop of uh, carrots and uh, you can see the uh, difference in the leaves so i'm harvesting as and when i can walking onions are still walking and very happy producing um, next year's uh, ball blitz and i'm not sure whether i'm supposed to do you know what do, do what part do we eat do we eat the bulb that's down there uh, or do we eat those that's the uh, bull's blood i've got some nice radishes in there and if I don't pick those very soon, they'll be going to seed and uh, you might see a few brown marks there, the bugs are getting at them. Uh, these are the banana shallots, so uh, let's uh, help them uh, pollinate. Sorry guys, I'm looking at the end. And again, this was the grizzly shallots i took out i didn't uh, video but there's uh, the peas second sowing of peas uh, kent blue bee kent blue pea from again from bill and fowl save seed and as soon as i get my stocks up i can share them with you and we've got uh, autumn king two carrots this side nantis five that side again another row of carrots here autumn king two and then the nantis on that side uh, they're onions and uh, none of those have gone to seed as it looks and I will have to check make sure it isn't the allium leaf miner there courgettes the green and the yellow are doing really well so this is that water tank that we turned into a carrot bed we kept them two things to stop it from splaying out and I lay cardboard on this and those look a lot better poor germination on the Nantis 5 but there again I think the seed was uh, 2016 so we can only we can only uh, try I'd like to give the seeds uh, a chance never throw stuff away plant it and see so this corner's all been cleaned up we had this great big pile of soil here to which I uh, sieved to remove the debris and I've got uh, one two three four five six or seven bags of uh, that material to add to my mixes and we took two buckets of um, rubbish out 
well worth doing if you do your compost mixes like I do. As you can see there, my granddaughter's been down doing her watering and digging. And she didn't really want to dig a big hole there so I can get the last barrel in. But as you can see, I'm fetching water from here for in the greenhouse and it's nice and warm in these barrels. And uh, you might be able to see a little bit of water line in the middle. Didn't get my levels quite right, but who's bothered? Uh, it works and uh, plenty of water there. So this barrel will go there. I've got a smaller barrel that will go there for my wash station and I've managed to build uh, my vegetable wash station so just a couple of pallets a bit of storage space under there look the bowl and I can always turn that tap on and uh, fill it up via there if not just use a bucket uh, I've pumped water up there back into that one because remember we took all this down rebuilt it put new timbers in and we'll have to just watch when we fill this one up that this uh, pallet is uh, strong enough. Mm -hmm. Keep well out of the way. I've got more room in here, but as you can see, we've uh, got rid of most of uh, the water. And uh, I pump it up and across into that one. And then I'll move the pump into this one and move it across to the other one. And because the pallets are there, I've managed to find a little bit of room for my little mini greenhouses. Look, a little bit of space. And uh, this is coming on in here now. Uh, the shelving's there, a bit of shelving there from out of a skip. And, uh, oh look, PP bucket, PP corner. So we've got, uh, I'm able to find things but I'm not throwing any wood away just yet. These Sweetheart Strawberries, uh, they've given everything they can give now. The mice have took what they want. Everything else is in here is growing really well. While it was raining, I popped in here to uh, remove the suckers, hopefully, but you always miss them. Just check them another time. But the uh, cucumbers are coming on. That's the side, well, just a little bit bigger. And we take that one home. Uh, don't forget to take those off. Uh, especially on the tomatoes so that uh, get, make sure you pollinate them because if you, you don't if you leave the uh, the flowers on the end it doesn't help with the blossom end rot and these have all had eggshells blended eggshells added to uh, to the mix only two onions have gone to seed out of the uh, red barren well, should we say two more? So that's four altogether. So I'm pleased with that. Uh, the strawberry runners, um, I've took that one off, cut all the things off, it's a little bit leggy, but new growth will shoot from there. And I've took them off because uh, we've got lots of roots, but we do need to uh, get rid. That's the one for the mother plant. And there's the little thing I'll leave them on but I tend to forget that they're there when I plant them then I wonder where they all are so uh, oh no I'm not going to touch that it's going to fall apart because it's well soaked I need to put that back in the pot elephant garlic drying the uh, grizzly shallots for the pickling and I noticed that Steve from Digwell Green Fingers has done his pickling video so I should be watching that again and hopefully I'll be able to uh, do my first pickled onions but I will save the best cloves uh, for next year's uh, crop. The opria are inside it's nice and open here so plenty of fresh air uh, they're drying really well don't want to touch them too much because uh, all the little ball blitz will drop down and then we have the uh, red Russian garlic there. That's all drying nicely. I will trim them up, but with the wet weather and how busy I've been, just get them out, get them in the dry and get them drying. My watering system for the vertical garden. Where's the pump? It's now in the tank and there's the uh, copper pipe and it keeps that tank up there filled. I have filled it, it's all done, but I just showed that for demonstration purposes so it, uh, it it all works off solar power and uh, that moves the water up there saves carrying buckets of water up the top for the uh, gravity fed drip water for the uh, long routes doesn't that polytunnel look nice oh, look at the sky guys 
I brought down one of the wide trays <coughs> that I've used in the uh, <coughs> greenhouse grow room because on this side I want to do a full width because those trays that I showed you uh, get four, four of those uh, trays into each um, water tray and uh, we'll have the narrow ones this side with the guttering on those wire frames that we've got everything's coming together nicely so it did pay me just to wait uh, for now uh, that wind has got to be filled and the one there directly above me needs to be done so that polycarbonate we got will do it nicely so it's sometimes it's worth waiting and i seem to be very very lucky in getting stuff that we uh, we want let's get out that horrible wind uh, if you've liked the content please give me a thumbs up or a thumbs down we don't mind all for the interaction leave me a comment and uh, if you're an addict what do you collect or can't help yourself you know i'll collect the compost and anything that i can find whoops still haven't repaired that yet but it does pay gardening on a budget we have to buy some things we can't help it but what we do buy what we do say by you reusing repurposing uh, materials like the pallet collars for free we had to buy the scaffold planks but we've repurposed old ones these old canes are still going strong from when i first got the allotments five six years ago bits and bobs you just got to keep collecting them happy gardening to you all till next time my friends for half an hour. Oh, they're gone all fuzzy.